Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, we have breaking news. Breaking news, and this is a special video because I didn't plan on doing this video, but, th but, but these quotes are so downright foolish and, and stupid that we have to dissect them piece by piece. So that, that's, what we're gonna do. that's what we're gonna do here on True School Sports. So Deontay Wilder has broken his silence after taking the ass whooping of a lifetime from Tyson Fury, beating, beating from pillar to post all over the MGM gram. And he had a lot to say about the fight. So he actually um, had quite a lot of excuses to make. But, but these aren't just your everyday excuses. No, no. These are Deontay Wilder excuses. So these excuses are special. Okay? So he, we're going to read what Deontay Wilder said about the fight. And uh, get into some of, some of, some of the other things, he's, the things he said. He said, I quote, He didn't hurt me at all. But the simple fact is that my uniform was way too heavy for me. I was only able to put it on for the first time uh, that night before but I didn't think it was going to be that heavy it weighed 40 pounds with the helmet and all the batteries I wanted my tribute to be great for Black History Month I wanted it to be good so I uh, so I guess I put that before anything and quote so that, those are Deontay Wilder's words not mine those are the, from, those are from an interview he did with uh, Kevin Ioli of yahoosports.com so shout out to Kevin Ioli but listen your freaking costume you blaming your costume? I mean, th that's a new low in boxing. We we've heard so many excuses. Excuses. We've heard. We've heard. You know, I had a tough camp. We've had. We heard. You know, I, I injured my hand going into the fight. Um, we've heard. You know, that got certain fighters are alcoholics going into the ring. But you're blaming your fight. You are a big ass six foot seven heavyweight, and you're blaming your loss in the biggest fight of your career to. On, on a costume that you picked out that, and spent $40,000 on. And you admitted yourself, you cared more about your costume than you did the fight. I have no respect. I have, I have, I, right now, I have no respect for Deontay Wilder. Because this, this is a new low even for him, okay? Just when I thought he couldn't go any lower, right? He digs a hole and he does this. He pulls this whack-ass shit right here, okay? Talking about my costume. Well, listen, maybe if you focus less on looking like a fake Mortal Kombat character and more on the fight, you might have actually won a round or 30 seconds of a round. And maybe you wouldn't have had your legs so weak. Maybe maybe if you stopped cutting corners in training and did some road work and conditioned your legs throughout the camp, maybe this wouldn't be an issue. But you wanted to cut corners. You've been in witness protection your whole career. And now you're blaming it on your costume. I have no, I, I have no respect for Deontay Wilder anymore. All, all that positive stuff I was saying about, you know, how, how far he's come in his life, you know, God bless him for that. But I have no respect for him no more as a fighter, no more. Um, and then it gets even worse. Then it gets even worse. Uh, Lance Fuigmar tweeted that Deontay Wilder is also complaining about Kenny Bayless. So now he's complaining about. Kenny Bayless, the same Kenny Bayless that deducted a point for Tyson from Tyson Fury. And that was the highlight of his fight. Kenny Bayless was the highlight of your fight. The old, the best thing you did the whole fight, one you know from round one to seven was Kenny Bayless taking that point away. And you want to and you want to get mad at him because apparently uh, he feels like he was hit in the, in the back of the head. So strike one was the costume. Strike two is now blaming the guy that helped you the most in Kenny Bayless. And then strike three and the most damning strike of them all. He's now saying I'm gonna quote him. He said that uh. He is actually reevaluating. He's re he's reevaluating uh, keeping Mark Breland on his team. Uh, and here's what he said: I'd rather die in the ring than have the towel thrown thrown in. I'm a warrior. I've told them many times that if, if anyone throws a towel on me, uh, in on me, there will be consequences. If I say I'm going to kill a man, I accept back that in return, and he will have to kill me as well. Um, we talked about this for years and years, and, and so that's what it is. So listen. JD's came out and he said the same things Wilder was saying. Was saying. Oh, it was the costume. Mark Budden threw out the towel. Th threw the towel. I don't know why he did that. Um, and and, and J JD's, the, the, the head trainer, he was the first to throw Mark Budden under the bus. But now Wilder's throwing Mark Budden under the bus? You shouldn't be talking about firing Mark Budden. You should be getting on your knees and thanking him and bowing down to him. Uh, you know, because for one, he's boxing royalty. He's a freaking gold medal. He won a gold medal in the Olympics. He's one of the best amateurs this country's ever seen. And he was a world champion. But aside from that, he saved your life. 
He saved your life so that you can enjoy more time with your wife, more time with your kids, um, and, and enjoy the, the wealth that, that, you just attain, that you just got from this mega fight that you worked so hard to get into. He saved you, and he, and, and, and he put you in, in a position to enjoy your life because if you would have kept fighting, you might have you died on the night, and you want to fire that guy? You want to make him the fall guy. You want to make him the fall guy. JD's the worst trainer in boxing. He's worse than Virgil Hunter. You want he wants to make him the fall guy. I have no respect for Deontay Wilder anymore. Deontay Wilder, and he, listen, I haven't I haven't said this in a while to, about any fighter in boxing. Not even Canelo. But I'm gonna say it now because the way he's behaving, the way he's talking, he is a disgrace. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I want I want to highlight that word. He is a disgrace to boxing. He is a disgrace to boxing. Um, I know he's had a great story. I know he's came from a, a long way to get to where he's at. I respect, I respect his journey. I respect his process. But the way he's behaving right now, and after the first loss of his career, is nothing short of piss poor, just and just, and just, just, just disgraceful. You're gonna, you're gonna reevaluate firing Mark. You're, you're gonna talk about firing Mark Breland after he just saved your life. He just saved you from, from, from dying in front of your family and getting more humiliated on pay per view than you already were getting humiliated. And you want to talk about all these things. Wilder is a joke. Deontay Wilder is a joke. I have I can't take him seriously anymore. Um, and from this point forward, listen. God bless him. I don't wish no, I don't wish nothing bad on him. But I'm really gonna tear into him. I I I I I, I don't like this. I don't like this because Mark Breland has done so 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 much right by him in his career. You know, uh, by trying to help him refine those boxing skills. And yes, Wilder's not the most polished boxer in the world, but. Mark Breland has played a role in the development of Deontay Wilder and getting to where he, getting him to where he's at. And the first time he faces any true adversity in his career, this is how we, act, this is how he acts. So that, now we can see why Deontay Wilder didn't fight Anthony Joshua. Now we can see why Anthony uh, Deontay Wilder uh, didn't didn't fight Povetkin and duck Povetkin. Now we can see why Deontay Wilder has been ducking Dillian White for 800 plus days. It is because he is a mental midget with no testicular fortitude to go in there and get the job done. Because when the going gets tough, the tough got to get going. And I understand he's got that fighter's mentality, that fighter's spirit. But Breland did what he knew was right. You know, he was an ex-fighter. He knows he know he knows what, what a beating like that will do to your, do do to his career. So I I hope this is a temporary attitude from Deontay Wilder because his emotions are still running high. And I hope that one day he can thank Mark Breland for this because Mark Breland is the only reason that you're going to have more nights with your, your lovely wife and, and, and your kids and enjoy the wealth you attain in boxing. So, you know, honestly, to, to tell you the truth, to tell you, to, to tell you the truth, guys, all right, I hope, I, I hope he can become relevant and again in the heavyweight division and, and continue to uh, be a factor. But as far as I'm concerned, Deontay Wallace can go fuck himself. He can go, he can go fuck himself, straight up. He can go fuck himself because... He's a, his behavior is disgraceful. You're blaming everybody but yourself. You're blaming Kenny Bayless. You're blaming you. And, you and JDs have teamed up together, and you're trying to make Mark Breland, good old Mark Breland, the fall guy. Um, and you're blaming your costume, which we've never heard about in boxing before. So you know, why, 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 why don't you take a look at yourself? Why, why, why don't you take a look at your padded record? Uh, you being in witness protection. You not learning uh, the, the, the skills needed to fight at this level. Um, Against a Tyson Fury and succeed, you know. Um, why don't Why don't you look at all the all the corners that you admittedly cut in training? You know, not doing road work, uh, barely ever jump roping. You know, uh, but mainly the, the not doing road work part is the part I want to highlight. You don't do any road work, so your legs aren't conditioned. So you know, if that is the case, and the costume did affect your legs, then good because you've been cutting corners and you, and you deserved you deserved that to happen to you. And you know, maybe maybe next time, maybe the next fight, you'll stop. You're, you're worrying less about your fashion and way more about the fight. All right, so that's the news. Deontay Wilder is blaming his costume, Kenny Bayless, and Mark Breland for his loss. So uh, all you Wilder fanboys out there, you know, all you Wilder lovers out there, in the comments, I want to know what you guys think. Um, are you are you are you gonna are you gonna agree with Deontay Wilder on all three counts of his of his fuckery of all the bullshit he's speaking out of his mouth about the great Mark Breland? And 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 then now he's saying his costume. You know, I, I just have no respect for him. So uh, just 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 you know, I had I had respect for Wilder. He had a game I respect after this fight because of, of, of the warrior spirit, because of how he's how far he's come and looking back on the journey that he's had. But all the respect I had for him has now vanquished just like that. So with that being said, you guys have noticed in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me.
but I'm just a kid from Dayton. So until next time, take care, guys. Fraud Squad!